Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book to have or to be, the nature of the psyche. The global market research firm Ipsos has released the results of its 2019 global happiness study, which shows a drop in happiness over the course of a year from 70% to 64%. Board members from the Brazilian branch of Ipsos attributed the decline in their country's happiness to a slow economic recovery among other things. However, the book To Have or To Be inspires us to see the reason for a decline in people's happiness from another perspective. The happiness quotient of people is not proportional to how many objects they have, but it instead depends on the way they live. This book is the result of famous psychologist Eric Fromm's research on people's mode of existence. In the book, he points out that people who participate in the having lifestyle do not achieve happiness in life even when they have an abundance of material possessions. The being way of life emphasizes an active role in developing things and expressing one's own creativity, which instead results in a greater degree of contentment and happiness. Then, what is a having lifestyle, what is a being lifestyle, and how do we develop a way of life centered around being? This book introduces the difference between the two in detail and points out that cultivating one's own independence and a rational consumer outlook can help to develop a being lifestyle. Eric Fromm was a German-American psychologist, sociologist, and philosopher of the 20th century. He received his doctorate from the University of Heidelberg in Germany. His major works include Marx's Concept of Man, The Anatomy of Human Destructiveness, and Man for Himself, An Inquiry into the Psychology of Ethics as well as two books we have covered before, Escape from Freedom and The Art of Loving. Fromm skillfully applied psychoanalytic methods to an analysis of human social behavior and is regarded as the founder of political psychology. Today, we will look at Fromm's analysis of human lifestyle patterns in to have or to be. We will cover its central points in three parts. Part 1, The Difference Between Having and Being. Part 2, The Essence of Having and Being as well as Their Effects on People. Part 3, how to achieve a shift from having to being. Let's start with the first part, the difference between having and being. Having and being are two ways of life that Fromm discusses in this book. The having lifestyle refers to achieving one's purpose in life through the accumulation and possession of external things. This is similar to babies swallowing food, when they see an object, they habitually grab it and put it in their mouth no matter what it is. People who live in the having mode tend to turn external things into private property just like babies do. In the poem Flower in the Crannied Wall, the English poet Tennyson describes the having way of life as follows. Flower in a crannied wall, I pluck you out of the crannies, I hold you here, root and all in my hand. Little flower, but if I could understand what you are, root and all and all in all, I should know what God and man is. In this poem, Tennyson's approach to flowers is to uproot them, to have them, to simply and physically possess them. He has no reciprocal interaction with the flowers. Such a possessive relationship involves no initiative or creativity. In contrast to the having mode of existence, the being way of life is one where the interaction with external things does not lead to possession, but instead encourages people to actively express their creativity, participate in the world's development and strive to integrate themselves with the rest of earth. The being way of life respects the natural state of external things and the process of life instead of destroying them. The being way of existence is also expressed in poetry. In his works, the Japanese poet Matsuo Basho has the following attitude toward external things. When I look carefully, I see the Nazana blooming by the hedge. You can see that Basho has a very different attitude toward flowers. Tennyson picks his flower and directly takes possession of it. Basho instead stands by and appreciates the flowers he sees, and he realizes the beauty and happiness of life through that appreciation. Having and being are two forms of our human existence that are reflected in every aspect of our lives. For example, learning is something that we've all experienced. But we all learn in different ways.